Hi, I'm Sonia T. Anderson at Yahweh Nisi Ministries. Today's book talk is on my book, Torah Time Digest, A Love Like No Other. If you are not familiar with Torah Time Digest, it is a Bible study book focused on a single theme. This this particular theme is love. It talks about different aspects of love. There are usually 12 studies, as there are in this particular book. There are 12 studies, and the overall book is 127 pages. Table of Contents. After the introduction, we have the series of lessons. Lesson 1 is entitled, No Greater Love. It is based on John chapter 15, verse 13, which says, No one has greater love nor stronger commitment than to lay down his own life for his friends. Lesson number 2 is entitled, Sacrificial Love. In Sacrificial Love, the focus is on Genesis chapter 22, verse 2, where it says, Yahweh said to Abraham, Take now your son, your only son of promise, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I shall tell you. Lesson three is entitled Love, Grace, and the Law. The focus is on John chapter three, verse 16, where it says, For Yahweh so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Lesson number four is entitled Merciful Love. In Merciful Love, the focus is on Proverbs chapter 3, verse 3, which says, Do not let mercy and kindness and truth leave you. Instead, let these qualities define you. Bind them securely around your neck. Write them on a tablet of your heart. Lesson number five is entitled Agape Love, and the focus is on Romans chapter 5, verse 8, where it says, Yahweh clearly shows and proves his own love for us by the fact that while we were still sinners, Yeshua died for us. Lesson number six is entitled Love and Religion, and the focus is on 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 3, where it says, If I give all my possessions to feed the poor, and if I surrender my body to be burned, but do not have love, it does me no good at all. Lesson number seven is entitled All-Consuming Love. The focus is on Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17, where it says, Yahweh, your Elohim, is in your midst, a warrior who saves. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will be quiet in his love, making no mention of your past sins, and he will rejoice over you with shouts of joy. Lesson number eight is entitled Sowing Seeds of Love. In this lesson, the focus is on 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6, where it says, Now remember this, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows generously that blessings may come to others will also reap and be blessed. Lesson number nine is entitled The Importance of a Life of Devotion. The focus is on John 21, verse 15, where it says, So when they had finished breakfast, Yeshua said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these others do with total commitment and devotion? And he said to them, Yes, Yahweh, you know that I love you with a deep personal affection as for, as for a close friend. And Yeshua said to him, Feed my lambs. Lesson 10 is entitled The More Excellent Way, and the focus is 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 32. Which says, But earnestly desire and strive for the greater gifts, if acquiring them is to be your goal. And yet I will show you a still more excellent way, one of the choicest graces and the highest of them all, unselfish love. Lesson number 11 is entitled Words of Love. Its key verse comes from Leviticus chapter 19, verses 17 through 18, which says, You shall not hate your brother in your heart. You may certainly, you most certainly rebuke your neighbor, but you shall not incur sin because of him. You shall not take revenge or bear any grudge against the sons of your people, but you shall love your neighbor, acquaintance, associate, companion as yourself. I am Yahweh. So this talks about speaking the truth in love and how we can do that without losing our character. Lesson number 12 is entitled Perfected Love. Its key verse comes from 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, which says, There is no fear in love. Dread does not exist, but perfect, complete, full-grown love drives out fear. Because fear involves the expectation of divine punishment. So the one who is afraid of Yahweh's judgment is not perfected in love, has not grown into sufficient understanding of Yahweh's love. Okay, so I'll read an excerpt from the book, starting with Lesson 4, Merciful Love. The key verse is coming from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 3, which says, Do not let mercy and kindness and truth leave you. Instead, let these qualities define you. Bind them securely around your neck and write them on the tablet of your heart. The body of believers should be defined by mercy and kindness. We first learned of mercy through the Father's love in that he was merciful enough to forgive us of our sins and accept us as his own. The model prayer states, Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us, who has offended or wronged us. 
Showing and receiving mercy is similar to forgiving others and being forgiven yourself. Matthew 5, 7 states, Blessed content, sheltered by Yahweh's promises, are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. It is a principle of sowing and reaping. If you sow a seed on good soil, you should reap a harvest. Sow seeds of mercy and forgiveness so that you can reap a harvest of it. Scripture reading, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6-15. through 15. If you are in your small group Bible study, this would be the time to have someone read that, or if you are doing this for personal devotion, you can turn to it yourself and read it. Continuing, mercy defined. There are various words in the Hebrew and Greek which are translated as mercy in the Bible. Each one carries its own intricate meaning. So here I have a list of all the Hebrew words for mercy, and you see that the meanings vary as, um, for example, to show, com- to show compassion, to show favor, to be a testimony, faithfulness and being mercy, a curtain of mercy. Some other um, Greek words for mercy are defined as showing pity um, or divine favor. So I have a list of both of those there. I will stop here for our excerpt. So I'm going to actually pause there. To purchase a copy of Torah Time Digest, please visit our website at yahwehnisi.com. Again, that's www.yhwhnissi.com. Torah Time Digest may be purchased as individual copies or as classroom sets. They may also be purchased wherever books are sold, such as Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. You may also subscribe to Torah Time Digest and have it delivered to your house on a monthly basis through our Time with the Father boxes or as individual copies. See subscription rates on our website at YahwehNisi.com. May Yahweh bless you and keep you and make His face shine upon you and give you peace.